I had a I had a long talk about the LX and the LX market. And I was like, so is there going to be two versions of the LX? And he goes, no, why? I said, well, obviously there's the base model. That makes sense. Naturally aspirated base model. And he goes, right. Yeah, it'll be a you know white upper deck and mild colors, nothing too crazy. I said, okay. And I presume there's going to be a fully loaded, naturally aspirated ski. And they looked at me and they're like, no. And I said, what do you mean no? And they're like, no, no. That stuff belongs on the premier ski. I go, what about the guy? What about the 65-year-old guy who he and his old lady want to go ride for a weekend? And they want the sound system and the windscreen and the USB port and the adjustable seats and all the jazz with the rear, you know, the multi-mount rack on the back. But he doesn't want the gnarly fuel mileage. He wants good fuel mileage. And they're like, well, no, you get the you get the 310 LX. I go, no, you don't. I said, Yamaha sells every single FXHO cruiser that they build. If they doubled the production run of the FX, FXHO cruiser, they'd still sell every one of them. Are you guys not seeing that? And they're like, well, you know, ah. no, no, no. It was a it was a full stop. It was a full stop. I'm like pulling my hair out, going like, "You guys are ignoring that. How are you ignoring that whole market?" And they're like, "Well, you know, I mean, you can option out the 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 LX." I go, "Yeah, but it's not going to be in some cool color. It's not going to be in like some metallic gold or you know graphite gray or whatever you know you know whatever Lexus color you guys want to want to steal." And finally, Kanamori looks at me and he goes, well, do you think there's a market for it? Yeah, there's a market for it. <laughs> there's a market for it. And I just, I, I was so floored. I was so floored. I was so <sighs> baffled that it was not even considered. They are, uh, to your question regarding fishing, they're going to have accessories on the rack that they have. Um, they're going to have accessories that you can put rod holders and a cooler, but don't expect a trophy. They're not going to have a live well. They're, I don't know of a GPS yet that's going to be available. Um, it, it, it's going to be an accessory afterthought. It's not going to be a dedicated model. So don't expect a dedicated fishing model. It's not going to happen. Hey, guys. Thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.